we're uh, we're gonna start our 26 uh, dead mines run here. Just wanted to go over this again. I'm a Beastmaster Hunter, level 26, and go over a couple things that I've done here. Um, I've got some crafted items, um, some stuff that just dropped out of uh, instances, and I bought a pair of wolf bracers. I'm using this because I haven't got anything better yet. Um, but this keeps me alive and the spirit helps me regen man, uh, uh, mana. The uh, raptor's in there, that's a, uh, a quest item from wetlands. It's a real good bow from wetlands. Um, boots dropped. I made myself those. I made that and I grabbed those from a quest. Yes, they're uh, cloth. But they give me agility and intellect, so it's good for good for a hunter. Um, so the other thing I wanted to state here is I, you know, I don't see myself soloing this whole instance. My goal today is to see if I can uh, down Gilnid out of the furnace room. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you is on the pet. Um, he still has training points. Let me make sure I trained him. Oh, no, I didn't. I went out and learned these two spells yesterday. Um, Bite was from the giant crocolisks in wetlands, and the claw was from the elder Ashen Vale uh, bear um, in Ashen Vale, obviously. So that ups the game of our cat so that he can keep aggro. The reason I use a cat instead of some other... Um, pet like especially the ones that do AOE you would think that that would be better to do but the AOE doesn't proc fast enough it it procs enough that you could just do a a quick uh, <laughs> I had a buddy here I had a um, you know I've had other pets and other pets will live longer as far as uh, staying alive because they have more health or more armor but when it comes to soloing and you're you're bringing down a boss. You're you're doing damage and you're healing, and you can easily outrun your um, uh, you can easily outrun your pet on threat. Even you know even if he's got growl, um, and then you'll end up pulling him and you'll be dead. So it's of utmost importance when you're soloing a boss that's going to be a really long fight that you um, that you go ahead and and get a cat and then you just tab target let the cat pick up all the threat and he just rips their face off and game over probably ought to go ahead and take off aspect of the monkey or aspect of the uh, cheetah I guess that was a mistake. I shouldn't have hit him with that multi shot. I wasn't quite ready for that. So now I've got extra mobs. Tab target over to the hunter. I mean to the pet. Let the let the pet pick these people up. Wow. I'm not starting off too well here. Alright, so the key is, before you start healing, you've got to let the pet pick up aggro. And th the whole reason this even happened was because I wasn't, um, I wasn't controlling the mobs like I should have been. And the thing you can't do, I mean, you're solo and it's just you and the, ca and the cat. You, you've got to control the fight. You can't let people run around and pull other people, and you can't let pets surprise you. you you've got to be on top of your game, or things get ugly real quick.
Um, and one of the reasons I like to solo Dead Minds is it, it, it's a challenge, but the other reason is uh, I'm an altaholic and I end up, um, you know, end up having a lot of alts and I need to feed those alts and the w way I feed them is to uh, get them gear out of Dead Minds. It, you know, at least to start. Um, I have soloed, um, I've soloed Nomer as a low 40. So, soloing, uh, soloing instances is kind of a hobby. And I like to see how low I can be and solo something. So one of the things you got to do when you've got a pet and you're going to be in you're going to be in an instance a long time because soloing isn't nearly as fast as running it with a five man. So your pet's going to be in here a long time. You got to bring uh, plenty of drinks with you and some food for your pet, especially you know when you're soloing things go bad. Your pet can die, so you've got to bring plenty of cat food. Some friskies or nine lives, preferably nine lives, I think. So, just had another mob get away from me. I'm, I'm not, not keeping up with stuff here. This is, I gotta get, um, I gotta do better at keeping these mobs uh, controlled. Um, uh, throw a concussive shot or something on them to keep them from running too far. It becomes extremely dangerous in uh, the furnace room. Where those goblins like to run back and grab another two or three goblins. In the furnace room you want to pull them way up, up the ramp. And if you're watching this stream, yes, I'm a keyboard turner. <laughs> and I'm also a clicker to some degree, unless I'm healing. If I'm healing, then I'm not a clicker. But um, my nephews just haven't been able to break me of the bad habit. And if you're solo in this place and you're just here for gear, um, you know, kill all these guys. I mean, there's uh, I'm just leaving them uh, back here just for demonstration. But, uh, you know, if I was in here by myself and I wasn't uh, if I wasn't streaming this, I would just nuke all these guys. Uh, I don't come out of here until my bags are dripping with with gear and and stuff I can sell. So, um, you know. If I was really doing this, I would probably just nuke all these guys. And um, I got a Defias Mage staff out of here the other day, um, sold for, you know, sold for decent money. So, and this guy here, he'll pull by himself. So, grab him when he's standing out by himself. Now, when you're soloing like this, the other thing you got to do. Is you got to get up on top of your heels because sometimes the boss will outdo 
your healing and DPS. So it's it's a race to see if you're going to run out of mana on the heals before before the boss is down. And you can see my pet's health is going down pretty quick there. So what will happen a lot of times is I'll just do one auto shot in between a heal just so I can keep a little DPS coming. And then I'll just heal. And then if I can DPS a little bit, then that allows me to regenerate some some mana and keep the race going. Um, that's why you need a cat, because in these endurance races, you can easily out-threat your, your pet by the time you're DPSing and healing. It is... Um, It can become a sticky wicket. This guy is not not that hard at this level, especially since I got that new claw and bite yesterday. He's he's doing pretty good damage on him. Also, when you're fighting like this, I try not to let that pet's health get below 50%, like I just did there, because if you do and things go south um, the you know the pet is just the pet will end up getting taken out it's not so bad on a boss fight because usually it's just him but if you're fighting two or three mobs you can't afford to let that pet's health get low Because if you get some ads, like I'm probably getting ready to do here, I just I just remembered that um I probably got pats coming any second now. So I need to get this guy dead as soon as possible and get out of the way of those pats so I can heal up and um, and re mana. Very good. So in Dead Mines, there's a pad after every uh, boss kill. I'll typically just uh, run up here and well, the pet's healed. I just got to get some mana back here. Guess I ought to throw on uh, humanoid tracking. Alright, let's kill him. Oh, come on, cat. There's something you don't see every day. I'll show you. Oh, it's swinging my axe now. I don't know if you saw that. Maybe you can rewind the video when you get a chance. I was swinging my um, my quiver. I posted in World Chat the other day about that. I was literally swinging my quiver by the arrows right there. My quiver was my weapon. <laughs> I don't know why that glitch happens, but... Um, it does sometimes. I'm going to have to do better with my tab targeting here. So it looks like I'm letting stuff get out of hand again. I gotta do better.
And I, I got another uh, ad coming, another pat. So I'm just going to um, pull these guys back a little bit. I'll be right back guys, I got a phone call coming in. Sorry about that, guys. All right, let's continue the stream here. So let's see, is Minor Johnson's down there? No Minor Johnson. You know, I haven't seen the shield drop in Classic yet. As many times as I've done Dead Mines, the shield has not dropped. That was a mistake. I could be in trouble here. All right, in this situation, you gotta get the cat to get aggro on everybody. And you gotta keep the cat alive, number one, if you can, and he's dead. What a terrible way to start a streaming video. I don't think I'm going to make it out of here. Nope, definitely not making it. Oh well. And that's the way... <laughs> that's the game. Have mercy. I never should have run down there till I cleared the rest of the elites. Well, that's what makes this uh, such a challenge, is you, you can't just be running in there, um, you know, it's just you and the cat, so you've got to, you got to take everything slow, you know, and you're not doing this as a level 60, I mean, I'm, I'm 26, there's people that are probably still doing dead mines that are, you know, they're not getting much experience, but if they're in there to get Cruel Barb or something, or the cloak off of VC. I've seen people still in there doing it at, at this level. Um, it's not very wise, I reckon. You probably should move on. But it's not like I'm overpowered for this for this instance. So you've got to, you can't take risks like I just did. You got to control the ebb and flow of the fight. And you can't start healing until the cat has aggro on everybody. And you just got to tab target, let the cat do a claw on him or something, and ta keep tab targeting until he's got, you know, a little bit of damage on all of them, then you can start healing. The other way to keep control of these fights, if 
you're not already in a fight is to drop a, a, a freezing trap and keep, keep one of the elites trapped. But I didn't have that luxury because I was foolish and ran in and started DPS and three non-elites and then got two more elites and like two more non-elites. All right, let's res the cat, get things rolling here. The other thing you got to watch out for in here is um, is these pats and the respawns. You'll see some pats. I've seen some of these pats respawn a couple of times. I don't know why, but um, it's just a classic thing, I reckon. I thought I fed him. Maybe I fed myself. I'll just wait. The pet wasn't happy. I don't want to waste the fish that I got there, even though I probably have more than enough. So, one of the reasons I got into that trouble was I was trying to do multiple mobs and if I'd have just burned down one or two at a time they wouldn't have been alive long enough to um, to get me in trouble okay I didn't have the pet on defensive again that's why I didn't jump over Okay, so this isn't a bad situation. It's just two of them. I can easily get threat. I wait until he's got a little bit of aggro there. Then I start pouring it on, throw him a heal because he's getting below 50% health. And hopefully he doesn't pull anybody. This new classic, these um, mobs seem to run a country mile. All right, so we should be clear now. If you look up, if you look up here ahead of us, it's just these non-elites. So let's just burn them down. You always got to get a shot on them. Like even if you're just going to let the cat kill them while you're looting, you've got to get a shot on them or you won't get to loot the mob. So never let your cat kill something all by himself. Okay, the trick that I use here, if I got multiple mobs and I got to pull one and I get him to the trap, drop your trap down and shoot the furthest guy out there. That way the other guy will run faster.
And then I try to burn this guy down as fast as I can. And I don't even bother to get the cat on him yet. I just want to kill this other mob as fast as I can. So that I can get the cat on him. There we go. Sometimes I'll lay a trap down just so I can kite them, kite something into it if I have to. So if I got attacked, I would just drag a mob over that trap, and just kite him over it, and it's out of the way. So I don't get somebody in there by accident. I'll just do the same thing. Put a trap back here. Wow, that almost got me. So when you first, when your pet first gets on him, you can't just really cut loose with everything you've got unless he's got several wax on him. The thing that'll ruin your day in here is um, just getting, you know, you you get a mob on you and then you get a pet and things just break down before you know it. Control is the name of the game, slow and steady. Don't take risk. Pretend like there's an there's a wow OSHA man behind you who's looking out for job safety. <laughs> and you'll be pretty good. I'm intentionally bringing this guy back, or I thought I was. Let me just pull him back here. I thought I was going to hit him hard enough that the cat wouldn't hold aggro, but with this new claw and bite, he's ripping some, ripping some faces off here. Now you're tempted to go ahead and try to pull this boss. You know, if I was in a five man, I'd probably take a chance, but I'm not gonna do it here. Not soloing. Might get written up by OSHA for uh, endangering the lives of my fellow workers. And the pet's happiness is yellow now, so I'm gonna have to feed him after this fight so that he can do enough threat to stay on him. Alright. Um, and the other trick I've noticed is this uh, this level 5 long jaw mud snapper is the cheapest food that you can get um, 
and you know cats are I think bears eat it too um, but owls do not eat fish but if you have a bear or a pig or a cat they'll eat these uh, uh, mud snappers and uh, they're actually cheaper than the level one food so that's a good little trick if you're um, if you're near a fisherman buy the long jaw mud snappers instead of buying the regular meat and the cost of maintaining your pet happiness will go way down and you also got to have mana management um, if you've got plenty of mana and you're regening enough between fights you know um, open up do some multi shots things like that as long as you're not going to pull thread off the pet so we've got one more guy here I'm gonna go ahead and pull him because this boss will fear and if he fears you into that mob then things will go bad and I'm just pulling him out of here out of an abundance of caution I could have fought him in there but I, like I said I'm just after I've already wiped one time in here on live web stream I don't want to do it again alright let's get our mana up I'm gonna go ahead and throw the pet a fish just to let him be completely happy before the fight starts. One of the other tricks I usually do, and I didn't do it in this this time, is I usually have extra stacks of arrows in my bags, and as they empty out, I'll transfer them up into the quiver. Because when you're soloing by yourself, it's just you doing the damage, so you're gonna run through a lot of arrows so the more arrows you can keep with you the better it'll keep you from running out all right let's do this uh, stings don't work here but uh, this scorpid sting oh it doesn't work on him either I thought scorpid sting would work but it doesn't now on this fight you're probably just going to do mostly white damage because you don't want to waste your mana. You've got to have enough mana to keep this pet alive for all these fights. So you do one, two, maybe three more white shots, then you gotta keep you gotta keep the heals coming. Sometimes I just do one auto attack between heals until I feel like I've got a good uh, a good handle on the on the race here and right now it's a race to see if shredders gonna bring my pet down before I bring him down and it looks bad I've got to bring the heels Finally, it looks like we're catching up. The other weird thing is, it looks like you get completely out of combat. You see how I just said uh, leaving combat? You get completely out of combat after you kill him. So if you back up out of range of that boss, you can actually heal up drink play some old records you know whatever you want to do but you're out of combat you can just relax but there is one thing you got to keep in mind the pets are going to start showing up uh, once you kill that uh, the shredder um, the pets are on their way so you could do one of two things you might just uh, not kill Sneed yet and just turn around and get the pats because 
They are on their way. You can believe me. And there, there they are. For some reason, they're turning around that direction. But um, last time I fought here, they. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and kill this guy. I'm gonna go ahead and track those pets down and kill them. I don't. I don't need them interrupting my boss fight. It should be fairly easy. I think the Shredder is harder to kill than Sneed is, but Sneed does some pretty impressive damage. He he doesn't um, have any armor like the Shredder does. And in a perfect situation, I'd have probably dropped a Frost Trap there and then um, did a heal or something to pull some threat back. But I guess I'm not uh, I'm not following OSHA guidelines at the moment. So as you can see so far, I've got um, almost two stacks of wool, stack of linen, probably can get rid of some cheese. Alright, so the cat's happy, I'm full of mana, everybody's happy. Let's um let's kill Sneed. Whoop. And as you can see, I just pulled threat. And I'm disarmed, so I can't wing clip him. <laughs> One of the other tricks I do in here, which I didn't just now do, but um, I try to do it on some of these fights, is because it's such a DPS race, and the more time you're healing, the less you're DPSing. So one of my tricks is to use um, Scorpid Sting. It reduces strength and agility on the uh, on the you know on the uh, target, so that he's hurting your pet less, and then you're having to throw less heals, and you got more time to DPS. Because uh, you know, with Slash being your drummer, you don't want your drummer or I guess, I'm sorry, Slash is our guitar player. Uh, you don't want your guitar player to get killed. I can't carry anymore. All right. So, at this point, we gotta start throwing junk out of our bags so that we got more room for more expensive stuff. Probably have to get rid of more stuff here after a while. Might even start feeding these other things. And line of sight this guy. And I usually don't bother doing Scorpid Sting on, um, on regular mobs, but um, but on a boss fight, Scorpid Sting is, is helpful. When you're just fighting regular mobs, you just want them to die as fast as you can so you can get on to the next mob. Also, I think we should uh, find out if this chest is back here. Ah, the chest is here.
I guess he stunned the cat there. I forgot about the stun. They stun. They stun when they first attack. Oh my gosh! I got a second set of pets. All right, here we go. Let's see if let's see if I can survive it. It's on. So the target that we want to kill first is that is that mage. I got to keep the pet alive. Hopefully, I got enough threat on him that he can pretty much burn the that mage down by himself because I'm not going to be able to do a lot of damage to help him out here. Alright, here we come. One down. Let's take out let's take out the wood carver next. Oh the cat died. I couldn't couldn't keep him healed up. Alright, well this is why this is why you got to keep your head on a swivel. I should have been tracking my uh, should have been tracking uh, humanoids there and keeping up with my radar. So this hasn't been pretty, but it's um it's a good lesson. I mean, I'm I'm almost glad that I died just to show you why it's such a challenge in here at this level. A couple more levels and um, you know if I'd have been 28 in here you know probably by the time I get to where I'm able to down smite I'll be 28 and you'll just roll up to smite at that point by the time you're 28 and then when you're 30 and ready to down VC you'll just roll this place. You'll You'll be a lot less OSHA conscious by the time you're 30. Like I said, I I haven't ever soloed SFK at real low levels yet, but I've um, I soloed Nomar uh, Nomargon at um, like 41, 42, something like that. The last boss is um, ridiculously hard. And um, those dwarven dynamiters are ridiculous too. Uh, when you get when you get two or three of those guys at a time. And the landmines that they drop down just beat the stuffings out of your pet. Alright. Let's get the pet alive. Get him fed. So he's happy again. He'll heal up on the way in. Turn on humanoid tracking because we got to take out those pets that we just got wiped by. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to just go ahead and take these guys out. Just stop stuff from being messy. But I think our pets... Well, now they're not here. Alright, let's go. If I have to run back through here or something, it'd be nice just to not have any mess. That could ruin my day. Well, I don't see those guys on the radar. They must be deep down in there. This is sad. The 
those pats are gonna be coming up in front of me, I suppose. They must be down in the in the hallways. Put the pet back on defensive. Try to clear some trash here a little bit. So I got this guy's buddy, the wizard, a while ago, so it's just him now. Yeah, not so tough without your friends, are you? line of sight Inventory. and the cat really tears these wizards up because they don't have any armor his uh Melee attacks are pretty powerful on them, and um, one thing that you don't want to neglect is uh, training up your your resistances. It really helps keep your keep your pet alive against casters and poisons and stuff like that. Come on, cat. And these guys like to run around, even if they're not running away from you. They like to run around and change positions and just like that. Yeah, there he is. So, you don't want to let these guys get too far away from you there. They'll run down and pull a whole bunch of mobs. I can't carry any more. Inventory is full. All right, we got some decisions to make. We're going to throw out some stuff here. Probably, uh, I don't have anything good that I'm not picking up at the moment. Oh, sorry guys, I got another phone call. All right. Sorry for the interruption. All right, let's check our radar real quick. Make sure I don't think there's any more pats up ahead of us. It's just these guys. Oh, 
So that's worth cleaning out some bag space for. So I think what I'm going to do, since these are so cheap and I still got 20 of them, I just fed him one, so I'm just going to dump these snappers and pick up that. And I'll let uh, the pet's done eating. I'll just let him grab him there. All right. And once again, he stuns the pet. On his, one of his first hits, he throws that axe and stuns your pet. So you might not want to throw any DPS downrange until um, until the cat's got a serious hit on him. Okay, so here's where it gets tougher. You always got two-man pulls in here. They sometimes have mechanicals, so you want to be ready for them. So here's what we're going to do. Send the pet, hit a concussive shot. The other guy will run into it. Now we can start DPSing that guy and bringing him down. And see, I didn't have any, um, I didn't have any hard aggro on that guy. I just had soft aggro, um, you know, association aggro. So the cat was able to peel him off of me real easily because I hadn't healed anything or done any damage to that guy. And basically, this is how you do this whole, um, this whole thing. Uh, except when you get to the mechanicals. The mechanicals present a, a absolute DPS problem. You've got to you got to hit those guys hard. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that guy up the hill here. Let the cat get a good whack on him. The biggest thing in here is absolute. you have to have absolute control of this environment. If you let anything get away from you, you'll be running back in here. And as you can see, I'm already going to have to get bigger bags because I can't, I can't pick up all this loot, so I'm just leaving money behind every single, almost every single pull at this point. Not much money, but a little bit. And when you're level 26 and you don't have much money, Every little bit counts. All right, so we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to drop a trap. Send the concussive shot to the one that's furthest away. And send the pet. The other guy drops in it. We go further up the hill. And we start bringing some pain. Now, it's okay to let, the, let this thing beat on me for a little bit here, because... I just gotta control this thing and keep that keep that guy where he is. Alright, so here we go. Defensive. 
Get him, cat. All right, cat's got him. I don't want to do too much damage for right now. I, I need to get a threat meter. I've got one on my other computer. I don't have one on this one. So here's where you oh, here's where you got to start figuring out what you're going to throw out and what you're going to keep. So out goes the belt, in goes the chest. There's the mechanical. So it's the engineers. It's the engineers that that um that drop the mechanicals. And this cer certainly does make your life harder. They're immune to the stings, so you can't do any stings on them. As far as I can tell, they don't give you any experience or loot. So, that's another drawback to them. But they sure do make your life harder. Alright. Let's uh, pull this guy. I'm going to drop a trap down low here. Hopefully, if I had to kite somebody across it, I could. And let's pull this guy way up the hill here. That's a craftsman, so he shouldn't drop any um, any mechanicals on us. And you want to keep uh, concussive shot and uh, arcane shot ready in case he runs, just like he just did. I probably put this trap a little too close to this wall. You definitely don't want the trap over here because this is the path they're going to take when they come up after you. So you want to put it maybe right here where it's easy to kite them over it. But they're probably not going to follow this path naturally. But it's a path that you can kite somebody over if things get ugly. Okay. Should have that guy separated now. We'll pull him on up. Pull him on up the ramp here. Get the cat on this mechanical. And then we'll burn down this guy first. Since he's the soft target. Sometimes even, um, one of the reasons to fight the mechanicals last is the mechanicals will sometimes even despawn. So, there's no point in burning them down if they might despawn before you get down anyway. If you'd have just waited. And the other, the goblins are soft targets so they go down quick. And then you can just focus fire then on what you need. Yeah, that, that one didn't really des... Well, he might have despawned there at the last couple seconds. He sort of disappeared before his health went all the way down. So, wait for the pet to come back up a little bit here. Might throw him a heal. Just to speed things up.
This is another craftsman, so there shouldn't be any mechanicals on this fight. And you just saw me pull with Sting. Um, a lot of times I have Arcane Shot rank 1 there. Um, and that's just so I can do a, a very light damage pull without having really hard aggro like a regular Arcane Shot to have my pet pull him off. And that's good in, in 5 mans too. If you need to pull something for the tank, you don't want to hit him as hard as you can with an Arcane Shot. You just want to tap them and pull them somewhere that the tank can pick them up. So you do an Arcane Shot, Arcane Shot rank 1 there. And that um, makes it easy for the tank to pick them up. I think I'm going to just be patient here and wait for this guy to um, walk back off that platform. Like I said, the thing that will wipe you faster than anything in, in this instance is, is not maintaining control of these guys. These guys are ridiculous. Alright, cat, come on back here. So when he gets down low health, keep the concussive shot and the arcane shot close at hand. Keep it, keep it um, off cooldown so that you can uh, uh, dag nab it. Get on him, cat. All right. I'll let him catch up on the DPS here before I start wailing away on him. Wow. So we gotta find something else to throw away here. There we go. We'll give myself agility. Give myself some spirit. And we got room for a few more things in the bags. Alright. We'll probably have to forsake linen here in a minute. So I'm just going to tap this guy. See if I can pull him back here. Oh, I got two of them. Good golly, Ned. All right, time for a DPS fight. And I got to get the cat on these mobs. And he's running real slow right now because of that. Now I got to get him back on that craftsman. Throw him a heal. This is what you don't want to have happen. Throw him a heal. I'm in danger at this point of pulling another mob, and I'm in danger of pulling aggro because of the because of the heals. I'm just going to pull him way up this hill here, and I'm going to throw another heal to him and have him have him fight this guy. There we go. Get on him and throw him a heal. white damage the mana's I'm doing fine on mana so I should probably just go ahead and heal him up and start burning this guy down here and I gotta remember to uh oh there he goes running and there's an example of what I was saying the mechanical guy despawn there so a lot of times they're not worth burning down first I know so I've been in some five mans where people try to burn them down first you're better off burning the goblin down and then if the mechanical despawns while you're still fighting that's just one less guy you gotta fight 
least that's how I see it. Alright. Just gonna pull this guy back. And I should have healed the pet there. But I didn't do it. Or not healed the pet, fed the pet. Because now it's easy if I start wailing on the mob to pull threat off of the cat because he's not doing primo damage. Alright, here we go. So I got one more mob there and I think I can pull this one out of there, but I, I, don't, I don't think I'll do it. I think I'm going to pull this one first. And as you can see, there was another pat there. I'm going to pull this guy way up the ramp. Get the pet on this guy, just get some threat. cat back on him burn him down concussive shot and he's down pets below half So, you see how I didn't kill that guy just now. He de he just despawned. He fell over like he died, but he didn't die. He he just went away. So that's that's my reasoning for not. And you could you could solo this furnace area without killing every one of these guys, but OSHA regulations demand that I not do anything dangerous and dangerous is leaving anything alive that could cause you a problem it's an occupational safety hazard save an arcane shot save a concussive shot and boom down goes Frazier Okay, so this guy's getting ready to come up on the platform. Bing. We grab him. He's gonna He's going to call a mechanical, so we're gonna run away up here with the pet on uh Dagnabbit. He's I didn't think he'd be able to hit me, but he did. We'll get threat on this mechanical. We'll get threat down there on that guy. Let the pet get a little damage on him. And away we go. I'm tempted to do multi-shot, but you just don't do it. I think I got time for... So watch this guy's damage meter. He'll probably despawn before I kill him. Yep. Okay. I put the pet back on defensive there, but I you pretty much need to keep him on passive because you don't want some random mob to pull your pet down into some place where you didn't want him to be so put him on passive make sure he's healed we're up to mana tap him go get him slash 
slashes on him. Sting. And since this is a single target, I'll go ahead and burn some mana here. And since I've cleared enough places, I didn't bother to do a concussive shot. It's, I mean, the only people left in here is me and these three goblins, so it's pretty much uh, got this place on lockdown at this point. Cat's burning him good. Bring some pain. I think I'll keep a concussive ready here. Just in case. Boom. We'll throw that linen away, because whatever I'm getting ready to get off this boss is going to be better than whatever that piece of linen is. Alright, so... I don't have anything else to buff myself with. Oh, I do have intellect. I wonder how many buffs I can buff myself. I don't think I've ever buffed myself that many times before. We'll probably go ahead and eat some clams here. Oh. So one of the things is, you need to give yourself as much of an edge as you can when you're in here. I've got this thing, this uh, protection scroll there. Just throw that on the cat. He'll take less damage. I'll have to heal him less. I don't think that Gilnid can be um, frost trapped, but I'm going to throw one down just in case he can. I'm going to burn that guy down because if I try to trap the other guy and burn Gilnid down, I, I won't get Gilnid down before the other guy's up, and then I'll run out of mana and health and everything else before I kill the, the ad. So I'm going to kill the ad first. All right, here we go. Um, level 26 hunter clearing the furnace room. I missed with that sting. And I think I'll throw another sting on Gilnid. Nah, he's, he's immune to stings. And he's probably immune to this as well. Yep, he's immune. I'm just going to let him beat on me for a little bit while I burn this guy down. Bing. Alright, cat. Get on him. I'm going to pull him back into the cat so the cat can grab him. Alright, let's throw some heals first. That's the first order of business. Alright, so now it's a race to get the cat healed up before he gets burned down by Gilnit here. So I'll just do a little auto attack in between a heal and make sure that we're winning the race and not him. Looks like we're winning the race. And I don't want to do too many things that's going to burn my mana because I'm getting down kind of low and there's still a little bit of healing left to do here. And I might need to drink that uh, one of those mana potions here in a second if things don't get better here. Looks like I'm not I'm not winning the race as handily as I thought I was. And this is where that spirit on some of these items can really help you when you're soloing. You can't drink in the middle of the fight, so spirit, you know, in, you know, doing some white damage and letting stuff. Uh, you know, letting some mana regenerate on you is really the only way you can uh, you can keep the fight going and keep it going in your favor. So there was a level a uh, you know a level twenty six hunter downing the furnace room, downing Gilded in the furnace room. I wish I'd have got the ring, because as you can see, I don't have any rings there. So that's one good, one good way to get the ring. Let's see here. I forget what this guy had. Nothing. 
I like this blasting powder. If you make easy throw dynamite, um, can make you some money. There's no chest under here. And I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for these pats. And on this, it's a three man pat, so what I'm probably gonna do first is try to burn the caster down, and then I can put him on the other two pats, get a, get hard aggro on him, and then um, and then I'll be able to heal him up. So here we go, burn him down, put a trap down just in case I need to. Burn this clothy down. Once the clothy's down, then I can tab target on both of these guys, get a little damage on them, and now I can throw a heal. Throw another heal. Make sure we're winning this race. And that actually helps that he's uh, he's attacking me some instead of just the cat. It actually splits the damage up a little bit. Keep the cat healed. So, you know, I know I've said it already, but um, the key to the key to doing, especially this furnace, is just surgical pulling, controlling the mobs. You've got to pull them up the hill, and if you concussive shot and keep an arcane shot ready, so that you can uh, so that you can knock them down when they start to run. I might as well just throw this out, and I'll. Grab that agility, throw that on the cat, and that just gives me a little bit more of an edge. The cat's got um, a little bit of increased armor and agility. It gives me a little bit more of an edge for solo, and because things only get harder from here from a amount of mobs that you got to pull. And Smite, Smite is a tough customer, um, you know, even by himself, but um with two ads, you've got to burn those ads down quick so that you can continue the fight against Smite. So I, like I said, I, I don't envision myself as a 2600 being able to down Smite, but um, I'm going to continue going and just just to show you how far a 2600 can get here and We'll see how much of smite I can get down. I'd be surprised if I can get both of the ads down without pulling threat. Oh my gosh, I just got a pet. I hope I don't get two of them. Yep, I'm getting two of them. And they're both clothies. And they just stuck the pet. <laughs> Dag nabbit. Am I not killing anybody? Come on, cat. Man, these wizards are ridiculous. All right, kill that freaking miner. All right, kill that caster. cat get on him and I'm in the dead zone I don't think I can hit him with anything I'm stuck in the dead zone I guess I can heal
inventory is full. I can't carry any more. Inventory is full. Okay, guys. I'm going to take a bio break. I'm going to go ahead and stop streaming. I'll continue here in a minute. I'm going to take a bio break.